is up guys welcome to today's video today I'm going to share with you guys 10 things that you probably don't know about me and while I share these things I will show you some clothes from Chicago so let's just get cooking with the first things the first thing is this uh, body 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 suit it's a regular t-shirt that you button between your legs i got the size medium because i'm tall but it's still a little bit uncomfortable but i think it looks nice um it's a ribbed material it's a little bit see-through as you can see but i still i think it's pretty nice if you remember the video i made with sunny a few like last week or two weeks ago or whatever i got a pair of jeans that were a little bit too big because they were so stretchy but now i got the same kind of jeans in a different wash and also one size smaller and they fit perfectly. I love this color of jeans. I think this is the perfect color. They just fit great. They're very comfortable, very stretchy. I also got this uh, bralette thing. I think it's pretty nice. Uh, I really like this uh, support thing down here. It doesn't do much for support, but I think it looks really nice. So the first thing I want to tell you guys that you probably didn't know about me is that I kind of was held back a year in high school. It's not as really like it sounds because in Sweden when you go to high school you pick a like a program with different themes. Like you can go the science program, the social studies program, whatever. So I picked the like science program but I hated it so much that after six months of the first year, we have three years of high school in Sweden, Six months into the first year, I decided to change programs, and I didn't want to take that program anymore. So I dropped out. And then when fall came around, I started over again, and I took uh, the media, social studies media program. I also wanted to show you guys this other bralette that I can't really be bothered putting on because it's very similar to the one I'm wearing. It's very cute. It's just like a black, lacy... Is this lace? Kind of lacy bralette and it's really cute with the small buttons in the front. I don't know if you can see them. So this is the next item of clothing I want to show you all. So comfortable. I mean this ribbed material, Shaquille has a shitload of ribbed material stuff and it's so comfortable. It feels like wearing a hug. I don't know if you're meant to wear anything underneath. I really don't think so because it's not really like a sweater. It's more like a regular long sleeve shirt that just happens to have a zipper on it. And the next thing I wanted to tell you guys that you probably didn't know about me is that I have had super super duper short hair and sadly I don't really have any pictures from that time. Social media didn't really become a thing bef until like when my hair had grown out a bit. I'll show you this picture here. Um, this is when it had grown a lot. Um, I had about three, two or three centimeters of hair. Another ribbed item uh, that I really love. It's so soft and so comfortable. The only negative, it has gold details. Most of these things have gold details. I do not like gold. I like silver. So if this would have had a silver detail, it would have been 10 out of 10. But, I mean, whatever. I can deal with it, okay? Let's move on to the third thing you might not know about me. Um, I was called a bully multiple times growing up by teachers, by kids, by everyone. Because I wanted to choose my friends. I wanted to choose who I played with. Like, I was, I don't know how old, seven, eight, nine, somewhere there. And someone wanted to play with me and I said, no, I don't want to play with you. The teachers called me a bully. I knew that I didn't have to play with kids I didn't want to play with. I mean, that's just common sense. You don't click with everyone. Like, don't force kids to play with people they do not want to play with. That does not make them bullies. That makes them individuals that have certain needs. And some of those needs are to not have to deal with people they don't want to deal with. This white shirt that I'm wearing now is not from Chiquel. So don't pay too much attention to it. But I did get like a blazer, is that what they're called? Like a jacket? Well, they didn't have small, so I got medium. But I think it's okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's maybe not big. Small would have been a little bit better, but I still think it's pretty okay. No, no pockets. And you can't button it or anything. But I still think this, like, imagine, let's say, spring. Maybe May, June sometime, uh, you just wear this out, ooh, so nice. I have a jacket like this, but it's not long, casual, 
Um, I would probably wear this out, like as a coat jacket when it's warmer out, rather than as a like clothing piece. Very stylish, perfect for business meetings. <laughs> or whenever you want to wear it, when giving birth, I don't care. And the next thing you might not know about me is that I had my first kiss when I was 17 years old. And I don't think I was ready even then. I had no interest in kissing people. I thought it was extremely gross. <laughs> uh, next, my dear friends, we have something that is so me. Is it a carpet? No. Is it a blanket? No. But you could almost think that it is. I don't know what to call this, to be honest. Um, a robe? Ooh. Do you wear this out ever? Or do you just wear it as pajamas or like a nightgown? Or like, oh, on an airplane! You know how it gets really cold on airplanes? This would be perfect. And it's like a blankie and... You can kind of wrap yourself in it. Oh, I love this. Okay, so I kind of miscalculated the amount of clothes and the amount of facts about myself. But that's okay. Let's just go through a mo few more facts before we go through the last item of clothing. <laughs> uh, the next fact is that a few years ago, when I lived in Malmö, I was in a short film. Some woman contacted me and asked if she, I could like be a part of her short film, she needed a main character. She wanted me to be in it, so I was. I dedicated two whole days of filming, if not three, three, two or three, two whole days of filming. Um, and the issue was that in one scene I had to smoke real cigarettes. And today I would never, ever have agreed to that. Um, because there are fake cigarettes, you do not have to smoke real cigarettes, but I was so like sh I'm not shocked, but I was so like uncomfortable that I didn't feel like I could say no um, So I had to like smoke Not a full pack of cigarettes, but like to shoot the scene I needed to smoke a few cigarettes for her to get her shot and I have never smoked a cigarette in my life other than that. And I would never smoke a cigarette in my entire life. And I'm so against smoking. And... I don't know, I was just so like stunned by the whole thing. And like thinking back today, absolutely not. I would have said, no, I'm not going to smoke this. Like, I just won't. You can't force me to do that. Um, but then I did, and it's really annoying that I can't say, I've never smoked a cigarette in my life. Because I have, and I really regret it because I didn't want to. It, it was for a stupid film, and you know the best part? She ended up not even making the film. I asked her, I wrote her a few weeks after we were done, how's the film going? No reply. I asked her a few months later, hello, how's the film going? No reply. So she ended up not making it, and I smoked those fucking cigarettes for absolutely no reason whatsoever. To move on to some maybe happier, things, <laughs> facts, uh, this you probably did not know about me, and that is when I grew up we had a lot of hens as, I don't know if you call them pets, but we had hens and we took care of them, obviously, um, but we had a lot of hens, and for all hen people out there, we had Orpington, which are really nice, big, fat, golden hens, and Sussex hens, I think we only had one or two, one Sussex, Sussex. Um, but we did have a lot of hens. Another thing you probably did not know about me is that my friends and I in high school, in the media program, uh, we made a few short films for competitions. In my town we had quite a few competitions where you got to like make your own short film with different themes and send them in and there was like a whole like screening of them at the end of the competition and actually my friends and I won two contests. And this is something that I think half of you might know already and half of you probably don't uh, and that is that my friend Ellen who is now my tattoo artist still my friend but she tattoos me and she takes pictures of me and she's like skilled at everything <laughs> we were running a clothing company a few years ago called Hall Apparel we sold t-shirts and hats and bags and all kinds of things it was a lot of fun it went really really well it was a lot of fun when we did it but we had to kind of shut it down and that's that, basically. Last but not least, we have these leggings that are amazing. They have this kind of like fake leather lining at the top. And a pocket here as well, that's really nice. They're very thick, so I would definitely be able to wear these now during winter without being cold. The zipper goes up to here, 
I got a small which fits me perfectly. I usually wear small and this small is perfect. So true to size, so to speak. And I really like this, like, I don't know, fancy detailing, fancy pockets. And now the last two things that you guys did not know about me probably is that the only things on my social media that I 100% refuse to promote, no matter how much cash I get, no matter the circumstance, 100% refuse is cigarettes, as you know, <laughs> um, and any kind of tobacco, uh, gambling, like online betting and all that kind of stuff, and religion. And the last thing you didn't know about me woo, is that I am allergic to popcorn seeds. I'm not allergic to corn, I'm not allergic to popcorn, but those damn seeds, if I eat a seed, my entire face starts itching, especially like my mouth and my nose. Um, so I can eat popcorn, but if I accidentally, or I enjoy eating popcorn seeds. So sometimes it's not even by accident, but if I start eating the cor like the unpopped popcorn, uh, my face starts itching and I, ugh, it, it's terrible. If anyone else experiences the same thing, comment below. I've never heard of anyone else having that issue, but I would love to know. But that's all for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed a little informative try on haul, 10 things you didn't know about me video. Sweet word of the day is pocket. Sweet word for pocket is ficka. I know that's similar to a German word that does not mean pocket. Um, ficka. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my links below to get up to date on everything that I do. Until next time, have a super duper good one. Bye!